and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's time to de-kit the Diamond Art Club Fox Wisdom. I have finished this painting, so there will be a comparison on it soon, but I do need to decanter the diamonds. So white was in two, I only labelled up one, but of course I'm back down to only one now. Um, I have got some black, they're not in DMC order, so I'm going to deal with the white and the black first, and then I'm going to do a little bit of putting them in the right order, but also checking um, my heaven and earth spares. So these are diamonds that I use for my heaven and earth designs and I do use black but this is this is my lovely bag of black I will eventually get myself a pretty glass jar or something but do you know what it works it goes in a drawer with all my diamond painting sort of extra bits I know where it is you guys know where it is and it just sits there happy in its own little baggy and I can throw it back in. It's probably my easiest one to de-kit out of them all. 310 done. I like the way those stickers come off. 520. I actually, oh 520 is this back one. I do have some in a bag and I do have some still packaged up because I didn't bother taking them apart. I don't know if I'm going to fit all of these in here though, but I'm going to try. Got quite a few of these left. Oh, and I've just spilt a load outside the bag. That's not good. My finger got most of them and I think a couple of them ended up in here. Not many. I did spill these on the floor as well, at least once, possibly twice. I did completely knock my whole tray. I think I've done it with Mr. Quackers as well, which is either 5200 or 3865. Um, but yeah, I have managed to knock them out quite a bit. This is very close to not letting me seal up the bag. It's that full. I'm trying to see if I can get them in because I'm lazy and I've, I've only just got them in by giving them a little shake to let me seal it. Oh well, that's next time's de-kitting problem. So that's a 5200. So now it's on to what else I've got. So that's 300s. I only need a few 300s and it's none of those. That's a 400, don't need that one. 600, or oh, 604, nope. 823, yes. So let's get rid of these. Didn't have many of these in the first place. They were only on the painting a few times. A little bit round the eyes, if I remember rightly. Though it has been a few days since I actually did this painting, since I finished working on it. Okay, what else? I'm leaving the 3000s for a moment because too many numbers. They're my ABs, so they are definitely going in a different place. That's a 300. So 355, don't need that one. So 600, don't need that one, 700s, so 762, 779, nope, that's an 800, 814, I'm using that one, and I keep opening my bag before I open my carton, probably not a good idea, so that's 814, Another one down. Okay, that's 3,000. I don't need 605. Okay, 
let's see if we can do this in some sort of order now. So 150, don't need. No more 300s. What's next? 600 and 601. Don't need either of those. <coughs> oh, and 602. That's the 700s. That's a 700. 740. Don't need that. Not for my heaven and earth designs, anyway. 819. Nope. These are 900s. So 900 on the nose, nope, 963, nope, 947, nope. And then I've got the 3000s. So let's start with 3371. I do need that one, I thought I did. So 3371 is a dark brown. Most of my heaven and earth designs are muted or darker colours. Um, so one is a black and white painting. So that has a lot of black, white and grey. And then my other painting is a very big tree. So it's quite muted in the colours that it has. So that's a 3.6 and that's a 3.7. Don't need any of those. And then three eights, I only need three eight six five, so I don't need any of those either. I've just noticed I have a random piece of trash in my little tray, so I use my sticker to pick it up. I think I still have some white ones floating about as well. But that's fine. So that is my Heaven and Earth Design box all done and dusted. Now I do have my two ABs which I will do in a bit. Let's go for my 100 to 600 box. Move those up because I don't need those yet. I need my 100 to 600s. So 150. Still got some space in the bag. So I can add these to it. Top of the shop, 150. It's like a game of bingo, isn't it? A little bit. And I'm gonna take my stickers off as I go, otherwise it's a very tedious task at the end, is to take all the stickers off. Then, 312, 312, I have space, just a little, little bit of blue in this painting, but not a lot. It was more turquoise than there was sort of blue, blue. So that's 312. 336 is the next. Now I haven't been through my sort of spares spares box, which I do sometimes. So basically I will allow in my spares one bag of squares and one bag of rounds for each number, each DMC number. I'm allowing myself one bag of each. And when they get full, then that's it. So, for example, 154, I have a bag of rounds, a bag of squares. They're both full. I'm not allowing myself any more to be stored in my spare diamonds. I don't need any more than that. So I do have an extra little box that is nowhere near as organised that houses anything left over after that. And they are ones that I am happy to, you know, send to anybody that needs spares, give away, you know, maybe set up a, a, a child or a friend's child with, you know, some blank canvas and 
let them just stick diamonds for the fun of it, they'll be the diamonds that will get used. But I thought rather than use that box first, because this is quite a bright coloured painting, and I actually don't have as many of the bright colours in my spares. The ones that I tend to have, you know, far too many than needed, tend to be the darker colours. So I thought, so six, 600 all the way to 605. Um, I thought I'll just go straight into here and then if I do find that I've got too many, like 600, that's full, I don't need any more, then I'll put it to one side with the ABs and we can put it in that tub afterwards. 601, plenty of room. Plenty of room for these. And I'm sorting out my trays back into, or these containers, back into the right sizes as I go. These are the Elizabeth Ward. Um, the Elizabeth Ward tray and containers. And I do really like it when I get to use this one. It's very pretty to set up. It's very pretty to look at. It's just not always practical due to size. I kind of wish they did a tray that was maybe half the size. That would be easier to you know, manage when I am sat on the likes of the couch and don't want to move too far. Oh, 603 in square. That is the first lot of 603 in square that I've got in my spares anyway. So where's my log book? Because my diamond painting log book, I started and I only just started to mark down what spares I had um, in last week's video. But I now can say I have 603 in square and I'm very proud of myself for remembering. So I've now ticked off 603 in square and I have those as well as round. And that will save me going through the whole box again. So yes, very proud of myself for remembering to do that. And 604, so I can tick that off as well. I'm sure there will be occasions in the future when I forget. And I'm sure there will be about probably a year or so down the line where I'll have to go through them all again and cross check. But for now, I'm doing good. And I've kept the logbook out because 605, I don't have any either. So I can give that one a little tick. I now have all the way through. And I actually have them in both rounds and squares. Apart from 601, I don't have that in a round. Uh, 605, let's pop that back in. And that is all my up to 600s. Try and get those last bags to straighten down. And then, this is where you find out, I keep moving stuff about because I keep tucking stuff on top of my photo boxes, like diamond paintings that I've done. So if you hear me rustling, that's what I'm doing. I'm moving either my to-do list or my logbook out the way because they sit on the top nice, or I'm moving a completed diamond painting that I've tucked there until I can do the video on it. Okay, 700s. 740 is first. Oh, we're on a roll. I need my logbook back out. Luckily, I didn't put it away fully. So, 740. Did I actually get up to 740? Oh, I did. So, 740 in square I now have. Oh, I got up to the 900s. And then the rest is going to be in my next video for my diamond painting logbook preparation. 
quite enjoying it. I'm getting there. Okay, 742. I do have some of those, but not many. So these can get added into the pile. These are actually a different shade to some of the others that I've got. But I don't mind. They all go in together. Because I never know which shade, if I ever run out, which shade I'm going to run out of. So that's that one. And then seven, seven, five. And that's a nice, see look, those blues are different as well. This one is more of a baby blue. And this one is more of a tealy minty blue. You see the difference between the two? But I'm still going to put them all in there. As I say, I never know which company, if I ever run out, which one that's going to be closer to. So I'll just put them all in. 775 is done. 800, we need 819. Uh, that one I'll get a few more in. It's close to being full, but not quite there. It's got enough room for them, and I've got one stuck in the back. Make sure that one goes out. I've got a little bit more room in that one before our class is full. So that's 819. Nearly there. That's a bigger one. Nine hundred. Where's my nine hundred up here? I actually haven't got nine hundred, and I have ticked the nine hundreds off. So I'm going to tick the square as well, and then I'm going to move the log book out the way because I haven't yet done these columns, and I don't want. To keep looking at it thinking I need to start updating stuff because that's a whole other video. That's a whole different time. And I'm not doing two videos all tied into one and you get to repeat the same chatter. <coughs> so, 900s. Then we need 947. This box is getting so full, it's unreal. 947 is actually a new one, but I'll mark that off. I think it's a week on Friday the video's gonna be. I'll mark it off on that video. Whenever I get round to filming it, which is not today. Um, 947, and then I want 963. Three. I have got quite a few of those, but again, they are actually two different colours. Considering I have got quite a few different companies diamond paintings in there. So Diamond Art Club's colour is quite a bit different than the other companies. A bit brighter. But that's okay. Because they all go in there. Right, that is the second box done. Is it me or was that quicker? That felt quicker to me. Maybe they were bigger tubs. On to the 3000s. So 3608 is the first. For some more pink de pink. I need to find my AB conversion actually for when we do the ABs. Where did I? I think it's on my phone. I keep meaning to print it out actually so that I don't have to find that picture on my phone. If anybody else does the likes of YouTube or anything like that, for example. You'll probably know that your phone gets full, filled up with thumbnail images and images for thumbnails. End up with them just taking over your camera roll. 
So actually finding things that you want to reference can be just a little bit harder. So I keep meaning to print out a copy that I have, or maybe I should put it in my logbook. Maybe that's what I should do, is find a way to put it in my logbook and then I have it as a reference whenever I need to put ABs away from Diamond Art Club because I store my ABs by DMC number, not by the Diamond Art Club number. And that's only because I do end up with DMCs from quite a few different companies. I'd rather have the generic system to store them under. Though I could, I suppose, store them twice, but it could just cause me even more confusion, to be honest. Stick to DMC and I probably won't confuse myself as much. But I will find that ready for de-kitting those in a minute. I'll pause the video and save, save you the time while I trawl through my photos and find it. And maybe I'll print it while I'm there so that I don't end up getting myself into more trouble. Okay, three, eight, five, seven. Last one from the standard colours anyway. Or nearly last one. Oh, okay, let's just, I've caught the ones that I threw onto the desk, the ones that I've thrown onto the floor, Mr. Dyson can have. Because I'm not going there. I don't need spares that much to pick the about three or four that flew onto the floor up. <coughs> okay, so they're away. And then before I fight with my, where's my ABs? 600 I have enough of. I don't actually have a bag for it yet. There's a, there's a space for 600s, but I actually don't have a bag of 600s. So I do still have this little pot made up. This has just got things like, for example, Evermoment bags. They pack bags into theirs and a Sharpie. So let's just use these bags. And then they're actually just ready to get passed on to somebody else or wrapped up in one if somebody needs them and there we go if somebody needs some 600s I can just throw them into an envelope and send them on their way because I have more than enough So, just the A, B's left to do. So, let me go and find my conversion chart and I'll be back. I found it. It took me a minute. I've now added it to my favourites. But I now have um, the Diamond Art Club conversion list. So, the Diamond Art Club and then the original DMC match. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it could, only because I know I did scroll up because I had a rough idea of when I saved it. But it still took longer than it should have done, so it's now been added to my favourites. So the first one we have is Plum Light 124 is actually 3609. Now for my ABs, I tend to keep them in with the sort of colours but I do have stickers on them so I do have for example 996 in the square 3846 but they're both stored under blue because if I ever wanted to change out some diamonds that's where I'd go looking 
Now, for me, they are, even though it says it's sort of, it says it's plum ultra light, they look pink to me. So this is going to go under pinks. Let me find my DMC stickers in square, please. Down the round. So I have a set of DMC stickers, small DMC stickers in blue. And this is what I use for my ABs. Excuse me. This is what I use for my ABs. And then I use green for my heaven and earth designs and I use pink for my spare storage. Because I like all the pretty colours. Um, so I'll need a bag because I don't have a bag for this one. And what color, what number did I say it was? 3609. So 36, where are we at? 3609. And it's square. And the only difference is I do actually put it, the numbers on the right hand side of the bag and not the left. So in my spares, it's on my left. The reason I do that is while they are in my spares, in my special diamonds box, if I ever wanted to put them in with my normal spares, with all the others, then I wanted it to be able to stand out that it was blue, not pink. Um, the colours are different when you look at them. But by putting it on the right hand side as well, it's like another quick reference. They're the ABs. Um, but I did put it on the wrong side of the bag because these do have a small opening and a big opening. So let's move it to that side because that makes me happier. Um, by having the DMC stickers out as well, it's also an easy way for me to work out if I've had the colour before. So there we go. 3609, which is my ABs in square from my Diamond Art Club. Bob them in with the pink. <coughs> Take off my little number. And then 132 is actually 741 and I haven't yet used the sticker which means I don't have any so I can get myself a new bag check that I'm holding the bag the right way around 741 on pop them in the bag and I may move these into my spares when I have a rearrange, I may not, because I don't tend to go in my spares when I'm starting a new painting, but I know I have a couple of paintings that it might be nice to change some out. So for example, I'm actually looking straight at this one. Now this is rounds, but the, le the letter T is actually 741, and it might be nice to have some stripes and some zigzags of AB. So maybe if I wanted to make that AB, what I'd actually do is go look in my orange and see if I had any special diamonds in orange and use them. But I wouldn't go hunting through every single DMC number just in case I have an AB version of it. So my when I have finished my normal spares, I do actually have a section where I can put in my special and AB colours by DMC. So maybe I could look in that to see if any match. And if they do, then go find them. So many options, so many different ways to do it. None of them are wrong. I just need to decide which one I prefer. But for now, they go in with my specials box because I don't have enough room in my spares. I'll put those ones away, try and put them in a safe place. Let's not pack them in an order. And there is my Elizabeth Ward is done. I can pop that away in its box. I will be doing the comparison and showing 
this completed painting along with my other one of the Willow Arts that I did. Same fox, slightly different fox, but I will be doing a comparison between the two. I'm hoping it's going to be up for Saturday. Um, cross fingers, it's a very busy week. Um, I'm hoping Saturday. But that's my special diamonds away. And there we have it. Another diamond painting is de-kitted. <coughs> I'm actually very happy with the way that one went, de-kitting. We had a little bit of special diamonds, a little bit of entering into the log book for, for diamonds that we hadn't detailed in there before and I remembered. Um... We got to use some pretty stickers to stick up some new ones for my special diamonds. So yeah, I think I think that de-kitting went pretty well. Hopefully the next one will go the same. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.